So this is going to be my first time flying at Delta One in about two years. I got an upgrade, so let's see what it's all about. We had to run for this flight. We were the last ones to board because we had a tight connection. Keep in mind, this is an older style Delta One cabin on the A33200. It still has a really roomy seat. The foot area is a little narrow, but I really liked this 7G and 7C. I've previously done a side one, but this is my first time being in the middle. The headphones that came with the seat were pre-packaged for cleanliness, as you'll see here as I open it up. It's even going to have the cord pre-packaged in a separate plastic wrap so you know that it's safe and sanitary. There was no pre-departure beverages, but there were little lights and outlets around the cabin so that you can read. I will say I was really impressed with the table space as myself being a plus size person. I was able to have the table out no problem. There's a separate little compartment right here for the TVs. You just push the buttons so they flap forward. And then all of your controls that are normally above you are gonna be on this little remote. You're gonna see volume controls, the attendant button. They're all here on the remote. Over here is where you're going to recline your chair, put it into bed form. This was a night flight, so it's gonna be pretty dark here, but I'm gonna show you what it's like when you put the feet up and show you the amount of room that I had laying down in the seat. Now keep in mind, I am 5'3". I had more than enough room, even being a curvy lady. I know it looks like I'm kind of crammed in here. I had to use a flashlight so I could kind of show you. But I'd say I was pretty comfortable. My husband is 6'1". He did not put it down in the bed configuration, but um, he was still pretty comfortable overall. So it still is COVID outside, so the meal service is reduced. This was only a five hour flight because we were going from Detroit to Seattle. You get a snack box, they came around with more snacks later. They did do a drink service. My husband actually tried the new Sweetwater beer, which he loved. He's been eating so clean and so good at home, hasn't had beer in a while, so this was a nice treat for him. The snack box had so many delicious things in it. I have had the other snack box on my Cancun flight when I flew first class, so I decided to give this one a try. This is more of an indulgence where the other one is more health focused. But I mean, everything in this box was absolutely wonderful. If you're enjoying my travel content, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. I tried to spare you all from the departure, takeoff, and landings in these style videos that normally take forever. I try to be short and to the point, but I cover lots of different kinds of travel. The beef jerky was clearly wonderful. <laughs> so the Delta One cabin is split on these planes just to give you an idea here. I didn't want to record other people, but I hope to see you on the next video. Please leave your comments and questions down below.